Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Let's Code. In this video, we are going to see how to convert a color image to a pencil sketch. So, let's get started. But wait, before starting with the code, I just want to make sure each and everybody has Python installed into your system. If you don't know how to install Python, the installation video link is in the description. Or there you go. You can click the link on the top right corner and learn how to download and install Python in your system. So I assume each and everybody has installed Python. Now we just also need one more library. And that is OpenCV. Now, to install OpenCV, this only works after installing Python. So, after installing Python, you just need to open the command prompt. So, you just need to type the command called pip install OpenCV Python and click enter. As you can see in my case, I've already installed the OpenCV Python. Okay. So after installing OpenCV Python, now we have all the required libraries and everything. Now let's jump into the coding part. So I'm going to use Notepad++ editor. So I've already created a main.py file and saved in a directory called the face sketch. Here I'm getting the main.py. So as you can see, there's nothing inside. And in the directory folder, I have got an image of Black Adam. And here in the sketch, there's nothing. So I will be converting this image to a sketch image and I will going to save it into this sketch folder. So let's jump into the coding part. So as we have installed OpenCV, we need to import in our code. So for that, I'm writing import CV2. So I've got OpenCV in our code. Now I'm going to specify a variable called image location, in which I'm going to mention the directory folder, na folder name, image. And I'm going to create a file name that is the image name. So this is PNG file blackatom.png blackatom.png. So we have the image location and the file name. Now I'm going to create a base image variable that I'm going to pass the cv2.im read. This will read the image. So I'm going to use the past image location as well as the file name concatenated. So the image variable will get in the base image. Now let's just see if this code works. So just type cv2. Dot I am show that is image show to use the original image and uh, the pass the image variable here and then cv2. Dot wait key zero save it now go to the directory so this was our code main.py now just right click but you will not find the open powershell window or command window here so just make sure you click or you just press the left shift button and right click so there you go you will find an open powershell window here just open powershell here and type python main.py so there you go our program is able to capture the image okay now let's continue with the code so after getting the image we will convert the image to a gray so creating a variable called gray equals to we'll be using cv2.cvt Color that means convert color 
we'll be passing the image we'll be converting that image into gray so for that cb2 dot color underscore bgr means color to gray so let's just see the output for the gray image so i am show so i'm going to write gray image and i'm going to pass the variable gray now in the command prompt directly run main.py as we have already opened powershell in that folder there you go this is the our original image and it's this is our converted gray image so let's continue with the code now after gray we need to invert that gray image so creating a variable called invert gray now we will be subtracting the gray with 255 now let's see what will be the output as we are following and uh, simple steps uh, I mean, I will be mentioning here. So, for an image to be converted into a pencil sketch, we need to first convert that image to a gray, and then that gray image should be inverted. After inverted gray image, we need to blur that image, and again, we need to invert it which invert the blur image after inverting the blur image we will divide that image by gray and the inverted blur image which will be the output as pencil sketch so after gray and inverted gray so let's just see what will be the inverted gray output there you go this is our original image and this is our inverted gray image. So after getting the inverted gray, we need to convert that image into a blur, blur image. So we are going to use a Gaussian blur method in OpenCV. So for that, we need to create a variable called blur. Inside blur, cv2 dot Gaussian blur. In Gaussian blur, we will pass that inverted gray image, and uh, the kernel size will be 21 and 21, and the sigma value will be zero. Now let's see the blur image. What is exactly the blur image? Oh, uh, sorry, I've spelled. That's a spelling mistake. It's a Gaussian blur. Now let's just. The output there you go this is our original image and this is our blur image okay after getting the blur image now we need to invert that blur image so i'm going to create an invert blur same we need to subtract the blur by 255 okay now let's see the output for invert blur image there you go this is our original image and the inverted blur image now the final step of the code after getting an invert blur image as mentioned the step you know divide the invert blur to gray and we will be getting the pencil sketch now let's create a variable called pencil sketch. They will be using cv2 dot divide, but we will be dividing the gray image with the inverted blur image and a scale value of 250.0. Now let's see the output pencil sketch, and I'm going to say a pencil sketch now let's run the code there you go we finally got what we needed the original image has been converted to a pencil sketch successfully now as you can see in my directory i've got an image folder but i have a sketch folder 
but there's nothing inside the sketch folder. So I'm going to write inside the code after converting the sketch image. I just need to save the sketch image inside this folder. So I have to do that. In the code, I'm going to write cb2. I am right. I'm going to specify the folder name. So it's in the image folder. I've got a sketch folder. And uh, for file name, I'm going to use the same file name mentioned above that is blackadam.png. And uh, what I want to write. So after mentioning the file name and the directory, I just need to save pencil sketch image. So now let's see the sketch folder. There's nothing inside. I'm going to refresh it. So let's run the code again. There you go. We need we got the original image and the sketch image. Now let's see the directory. Just refresh it. There you go. We got the sketch converted from the original image. So I hope you guys understood how to convert a uh, color image to a sketch image. The source code for this program will be available in the GitHub, and I will mentioning that link in the description. You can go and download, and uh, you can do R and D on that code. So I hope you understood how this works. Do subscribe, like, and comment, and share with your friends. Do subscribe, okay? Comment below your if you got any error while running the code or any problem. Just comment below. I will get into touch. Do follow us on Instagram at Letco. The link will be in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching till end. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you in the next video.